um, by the fans will, will be brilliant. I'm sure they'll come in. Good, and out and good afternoon. My name is Jim Conlon and welcome to the latest episode of our sports show. As you know, in part three of our sports show each week, we premiere new sporting events taking place uh, worldwide uh, throughout the contents in terms of the global sporting landscape. And up for discussion is a phenomenon which is taking a global stage in terms of its spread in terms of the USA, but also Europe, Ireland by storm as well. Uh, the one and only phenomenon which is Big Tree Basketball. And I'm delighted to be joined by one of the stars of uh, Big Tree Basketball, Reggie Evans, a 13-year NBA veteran from 2002 to 2015, played with Seattle Supersonics, uh, Denver Nuggets, uh, Philadelphia 76ers, Raptors, Clippers, Brooklyn Nets and Sacramento. Reggie, tell me, the transition from NBA uh, into Big Tree Basketball is it almost like a whole new sport, a whole new world, or is it still very much those fundamentals of NBA basketball? Does it almost feel like you've never left the NBA? It on the beyond which is all the difference is just just half court and we just playing three on three. Um, that's just the only difference. As far as like the competitive nature, the competitor is the competitor is still there, the fire is still there, the preparation is still there leading up to before the season starts. Um, you know, you talk to all your, your teammates, your friends, um, you're trying to be nosy to who all they go pick up for the draft, trying to figure out things like that. So, um, um, that lit that's on the inside, that fire that's on the inside is like, it's, it's, it re, it refire that, that lit on the inside. So as, um, I think it's great that, um, Ice Cube came up with this idea, um, and just to help him you know, fulfill this vision of his and think it's great and stuff. So we loving it. You know what I'm saying? I'm loving it. Uh, I think it's great overall. Just, just, you know, me, just for the, you know, me, like I say, health is a lifestyle for me right now. And big three helped that out. You know, me staying in shape, me keeping that competitive edge and me playing against all my brothers and stuff. Yeah, and I've watched a few of the games and I watched the, one of the highlights and what struck me was the intensity and the 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 speed of the game, even though it's half court, the competitive edge, you still have to have a high level of fitness uh, to play this game. This is not a, a game for washed up uh, players or basketball players in, in terms of retirement that just want to go out, have a laugh, have a bit of crack. This is really intense. This is competitive stuff. This is hard at it uh, in terms of that. It's sort of a really sort of a professional sort of ethos uh, to it. Nah, we're not wasting our time on the court. One thing about it, if we go get on the court, we, we're professionals. And um, we're not going to be on the court just to waste our time. We're not going to waste nobody else's time. So from a fan perspective, fans go get 100% hard work, 100% effort. Um, they're going to definitely 100% get their money worth coming to the game. But at the same time, a lot of us guys that's playing, you know, like myself, me, Rashad Lewis, um, Joe Johnson, um, Moon, a lot of our guys, we still love the game. And we never lost the love of the game. So for us, it's the love for the game is first. You know what I'm saying? Because so, you never want to play for money. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, you want to be blessed to make money and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But you cannot ever lose that love for the game. And one thing about it, we haven't lost the love for the game. That's why we you see us still go at each other from a competitive standpoint, no matter if I'm going against Larry Sanders. Uh, like I say, it doesn't generate Pargo. You know what I'm saying? Like, we are elite players. Um, you know, our IQ is very high. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, our preparation is, is still the same and stuff. It's great, though. Yeah, and one thing I noticed as well is you guys still crash the boards like it's the NBA. Every shot is contested. There's no uh, giving a guy an open ball look or an open tree or an open drive to the lane. And in terms of that, once you get into that paint, you're going to get hit and you're going to hit, get hit hard and fair in terms of that. In terms of there's a real physicality element to big tree basketball, which I like, which you normally wouldn't get in normal tree to tree sort of shoot arounds. No. No, it's the more it's more of the '90s, more of the '90s style, um, kind of bring that '90 early, you know, not early '90, late early 2000, you know, real physical during that era and stuff. So it's kind of like give you that vibe from from that perspective, but also 
if you get it kind of we still play more up to date games also too you know with the space in the floor making sure we got one side of the court where we can do a lot of work and still have somebody on the far uh, on the weak side to where we can still make some real good up to date plays and stuff but the whole mindset is you know is that old traditional um you know that grind that grit style of basketball you know so um it's not easy at all like literally it's not easy, you know what I'm saying? So at any given day you can lose, you know, if you're not on your A game. So that when we go to practice, um, we go to them practices on Fridays or Saturdays, like we really going in there going hard. We really locking in. We really going to the game plan, see what we need to do. And uh, we got some good coaches, you know, we got some real good coaches, you know, Nancy Lima, she a good coach. So you got to imagine you, 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 you got a game plan against Nancy. You know, Nancy got her hell of a game plan. She got stuff on her phone. She know all her personnel and stuff. You know, you got to, you know, you got to prep for Lisa Leslie. You know, she, she come up with a hell of a game plan. It's be, you know, her game plan, her preparation is on a high level. You know what I'm saying? So we got high level coaches. We got high level players. You know, we got high level owners. You know what I'm saying? We got high level everybody in every phases of the big three. You know what I'm saying? There are really no fall-offs from the big three. So only thing we can do is just continue to just stay prayed up and just continue to hope this thing just grow because this could be big for our kids in the future and stuff. And finally, for me to you, uh, Reggie Evans, in one sentence, uh, you might tell all our viewers here in Ireland why they should tune into big three basketball if they haven't seen it before and what's in store for them. Like I told, like I told you just now, you know what I'm saying? You're going to watch a lot of guys that genuinely have the love for the game. Genuine, genuine love for the game. And like I say, if you find players that that's their number one, that's their number one goal is the love for the game, everything is to take it, take care of itself. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to get and and you're going to get high level defense, high level offense. Um, every game is going to be very intense. Um you got a lot of great former guys that was in the league that's still playing right now. Um, we got a couple, a lot of new guys that are coming up, making a name for themselves. So it's very competitive. Um, I think it's very fun. We are very hands-on, very hands-on. So, you know, we very hands-on as in being able to sign a lot of kids, autograph, take a lot of pictures and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And we also got a little entertainment also too, you know what I'm saying, with Cube and the entertainment business where he can bring um, music here. So we kind of mixed the boat. And I think it's a perfect marriage, you know what I'm saying? So you get the best of both worlds. So you may end up so happy to see your favorite artist in that city. So I think it's good for us players also too, being able to see the artists, but we are fans of music, you know, and just like, you know, they, they're on the music industry is fan to us and stuff. So it's like a perfect marriage. So you get the best of both worlds. If you're a kid, and I recommend to anybody that have kids, man, bringing kids to the game, come to the games, very, it's worth watching. You will definitely have some fun. On that note, uh, Reggie Evans, thank you. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks for.